we're talking about life in your 20s, it's not going to be like one serious um, talk like that. You understand? <laughs> so it's just going to be, you know, like the 20s now, like everybody I'm talking about it, it's, um, it's exciting. You understand? It's mm-hmm. like it's the decades, the 10 years within from 20 to 30 is just like a big deal for a lot of people. And um, some people have gone through it, some people are just going into it. So we're just going to talk about. Um, Things you expect, things that's happening in your twenties and stuff like that. Yeah. So, how does it feel to be in your twenties? That's like the first question. Well, so are you going to go first? Okay. Yeah. Sure. Um. So maybe in, I'm my early twenties, by the way. So I'm not like in a major. I'm still a baby <laughs> in my twenties, but it's it's been uh it's been an amazing experience. A like a roller coaster experience. Sometimes you're like, please, can you take me back to teenage hood? They're like, please just catapult me and let me go to like the real adulthood. <laughs> and then sometimes you're like, no, leave me alone. I'm, I love my 20s, you know? So it's been an amazing experience for me. And so far, I'm like, okay, this pressure is there though. Like, for example, next year, I'm next year, January 18, I'm going to be having, you know, another year to my years and I'm like I even called my friend I was like wait I'm going to be 23 next year I'm like whoa I'm getting old <laughs> what I said. and then I have old <laughs> you know that pressure that oh my god the things that you planned you know they're not coming forth yet and then the things that you didn't expect yeah the things that you didn't expect that just coming so you're like gosh what is going on but yeah Actually, I would say that my 20s, in my early 20s, it was fun. I was really enjoying myself. Yeah, but really life. <laughs> it's my late 20s, right? Oh, my God. <laughs> now I know what it means to be uh, an adult. Like, you have to be on your own. You decide some things on your own. And at times, you don't even know what you mm-hmm. want to do. This is a stage you have to be serious with your life because in my early 20s, I wasn't that really serious mm-hmm. about the whole thing. I was just still chilling. You know, I'm still mm-hmm. under my parents. I was under my... Yeah. But now, when I'm on my own now, it's kind of... It's kind of... I would not say difficult. <laughs> it's just so bad. I don't know. But I thank God I'm still surviving. Yeah, thank God. Yes. Yeah. So, my family are now by yeah, Maybe because I'm still, like, in that early 20s. So, I just feel like... Mm-hmm. It's, a roller coaster of emotions too because sometimes you're just like here and thinking that okay what else to do with my life <laughs> you understand so I'm like okay let me just enjoy the moment and stuff like that so different mm. kind of things you sometimes you'll be happy that oh my god I'm young yeah. and getting it and stuff like that and <laughs> I'm like my mates are too slow I'm here you understand it's just like mm. so like now um, when you were going into your 20s now you were like a teenager and you used to see people that were already like 21 22 that time when you were still maybe like hey or something mm-hmm. what were your expectations going into your 20s <laughs> okay so for me when i saw those people like you know when i was say, maybe maybe 15 and then people would just be like oh i'm 20 something and in my mind i'm like wow that means you have a good job <laughs> that means you have a good car that means you have a good relationship that means you know everything about you is stable and you are young and you are getting it you know but then, <laughs> in my mind, I'm like, okay, <laughs> now that I'm into it, I'm like, that is not all. No, you no. know, and then when I just see those people like, oh, I want to be 22 because I want to have what those people are having, you know? I want, oh, when you hear somebody telling you, oh, I'm in my 20s, and then I have a good job, I'm working an oil company, I'm working with a great computer um, <laughs> organization, and then in, in my mind, I'm like, yes, I'm going to get that too. When I'm in my 20s, I'm going to get that. If I study from that 20 years ago, I'm going to get it, you know? I think it's everybody. I mean, Lisa, what do you think? What were your, what were your expectations? I never really had one institution like that. Like, I was just like, okay. I did not even think about that then. You know, when you're under your parents and they are the one doing everything. I was just like, mm. <laughs> you know, someone like some people when they were growing up, I was like, and these people are living their best life. Actually, in my head, I was like, oh, they are living their best life. They can make their decision by themselves. They have money. <laughs> they have money. <laughs> but right now, looking at it, it's just like, why were they happy? You understand? Because in their mind, they make it look like, oh, is that difficult? You understand? Oh, yeah. they're looking at it like, oh my God, this thing is just, it's not easy. You understand? But then we're looking at them, they're like, chilling. 
I'm like, is it that like life was different then and life is just different <laughs> now? I beat them, they were just faking it to make it, they were just faking it and be laughing and every, everything, you understand? So your expectations have been met. Um, do you think that you mm. can really meet them? And, like, I didn't really... Okay, I've not been able to achieve all my all mm. my goals, but I'm still actually working on it. And it's kind of... At times, I feel frustrated when I think about it, when you don't get that thing at that particular point and you just like, okay. But one thing I've learned lately that is I should just let go. I should just free myself that it's not something that you get suddenly like that. It's a process. So it's a process, just like Elizabeth said. And that is one thing I love about your statement. It's a process. Like, yeah. one thing I've I'm learning, but I'm still learning. I don't think we can ever finish learning. That is what I'm thinking that there is a process you have to go through about today. And you exactly. need to enjoy that process. You need to go through with the pains, with the songs, with everything. Just make sure you, you know, get through that process. And then it's going to take you to the goal that you want. So that is yes. what I'm learning presently. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's what we came to realize. Yeah, that's what we were expecting before. We, I mean, it's also it got to this stage that we now care if you ask understand. It's not that immediately you get the house. It's not that immediately you get the job. It's not that everything is sharp, sharp, sharp. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. um, <laughs> let's talk about like um, some challenges that we faced during I mean, in this period of your 20s. Oh, okay. And so one of the challenges is that my expectations not being met. Because um, right now, I already planned that, oh, okay, I'll be in school, you know, for my master's program. But then I'm not yet there. I'm still in the process of trying to get the applications ready. And I just I, I just made use of the opportunity to serve my country, you know. And another one is that the pressure people put on you. Now, not the pressure you put on yourself. The, pe- the pressure people put on me. You know, sometimes I might just be in my room and then I'm already thinking, what are these people thinking about me? I hope they will not say that I'm lazy, that I'm just in my room doing nothing. Know, and in my right? mind, I'm, like, I'm doing something to people. I'm doing something. You, don't, you just don't know it, you know? That's why your parents, I'm not even like, it's been my parents. I'm like, hey, hope those people will not think this girl just came to this house and she's not serious about her life. And then in my mind, I'm like, I have plans for myself. I love myself so much. I don't want myself to fail, you know? So those are just, uh, you know, challenges. And, you know, social media, even the pressure from people and the pressure from your friends as well, you know? Somebody telling you, yeah, it's not like I'm not happy for them. Of course, I'm happy for them. But don't put it in my face that, oh, I should have done better, actually. <laughs> oh, yeah. I should have done better. You know, that just makes people sad. So that's a little bit. What about you, Elizabeth? What do you think? Yeah, actually, I would support... Uh, um, also, she said, um, like, when your expectations are not met, that's one can just bring you down. The other thing, I'll say, <laughs> what to eat. Because at times, I, I'm not a foodie. Mm. So <laughs> thinking of what to what to prepare, what's the meal to cook, it's it so that's challenging for yeah. me. I really, really don't like it. It's really, really challenging for me. Because back then, I knew that I never thought of what to eat before. They would just bring it. And uh, then that's all. Are you? But now you have to think. You have to think and cook for you. <laughs> yes, it's very frustrating. So it I don't is. Really like that. What I think is just um fear of failure. Oh. You understand? Because oh, I, I, I just feel like I just, I just feel like what's the name? I'm not doing anything right now. The line between. Oh, you have to put in the work or you have to just allow God to do the rest. You understand? That is just where I am. I mean, I feel like most of the decisions you make in this 20s eh, may or may not affect the uh, most in your future. You understand? So if you're now like waiting and doing your load, I mean, you're doing, let God lead you. And you're supposed to put in the work. You don't have to feel the future. You understand? So all those kind of things just affect you. Like, okay, and what am I supposed to be doing? I just need to know. Like, so you coming from that phase of, you being pampered, you being like in your teenage years and everybody looking at you, my God, what will you eat and all that kind of thing. You're not coming to this world, you're going to think about it by yourself. And people are not even helping. People will never help know. your situation. People will be doing, eh, okay, what's that? What's that? You're really Thank you. Right. Thank you. People do that. I don't even teach you how to do 
So I talked about like the sad part. <laughs> I talked about like the sad part of being in your 20s. So do you think there are benefits of being in your 20s? Like, can you just flex and do stuff and stuff? Like, do you think there are other benefits of being in your 20s apart from like the challenge? Yes, part of I think so. Because you are independent. You don't have to like run to your parent all the time. You can make decisions on your own. And they won't beat you for it or they won't <laughs> question you for it. I enjoy that part. Yes. No spanking. That part that you have to like stand and say something and they will not listen to you. Okay, what do you have to say? I, I think know. That's it's a joy to me. Yeah. Yes, I think that's that's my own. That part is a joy to me. Eh? Like you just give your opinion and then your parents actually listen to mm-hmm. you. They don't tell you, I'm okay, I'm sorry. You're yeah, right. They don't tell you you're a small girl. You sit down when your parents are talking. You don't talk. You know something like that. But exactly. then you make that. decisions. Yeah, you make decisions. Not that you're rude, though. No, that one. They don't. They don't take that one too. Mm-hmm. But the yeah. fact that you can make your decisions about your life, and then they just they support you. They give their advice. But then at the end of the day, it's all in your hands. And another exciting part about me being my twenties is that. I, I have um, the opportunity to explore more. Oh. Um, and in terms of friendships, you know, people, talk about people, you know, like the intelligence is now getting, you know, I'm getting to that intelligible stage. Where, you know, nobody's trusting you so and fro. You know, I think as you can have your stand. Yeah. And I think God comes into play in that because even the Bible says that you should not allow anybody to think that you are too young, you know, and then they will just trample upon you, you know. You stand your ground yeah. even as a young person. You give your opinions. You have intelligible conversations. That is one thing on my journey, my journey. And I thank God for that. Um, are there things that you wish you knew um, coming into your 20s that would have made you like shaping up or make you like no, that I, I'm prepared for this phase you understand I wish I knew the my purpose on time yeah um, what I really wanted to do with my life I wish I knew that but like in my early that's what I'm trying to say I wish I knew mm-hmm. what exactly I wanted to do at that time but and see, don't let us dig deep because right now <laughs> I'm kind of emotional <laughs> about <laughs> it. So like it's not good to be fake. Don't do that. It hurts other people. You know, some people live their lives, lived their lives in the twenties back then. That oh, everything is okay. We are balling. You know, we are ballers. So <laughs> nothing shake us. Nothing move us. Just wish people you know, could be more open. I wish I was more closer to God. Yes, I wish I was closer to God because then I'm not saying everything would have worked in line according to what I planned, but at least if I worked in line with his plans, with original plan. So I wish I, you know, got more closer to God. Um, I wish people just would be like, oh, just take your time and don't don't just rush about a lot of things and maybe it's like better. And according to what you said, I wish people were more open about how they felt. I know. Jeez. Because who was I was telling you, people just felt they were doing ah, oh, happy day. They were just they were just happy. <laughs> and then in your mind, you're like, I will do happy day too. <laughs> and you, and you now look at him like, ah, where's my own? <laughs> when is my own coming? <laughs> yeah. You you get people like, when is my own coming? But yeah, I wish people were more open about um what's happening with them. I think God was changing. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying that okay. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> like you have to take a step back and just know that okay. It's a phase that you're going to... Um, do you think it's going to get easier, though? You- I think we just have to... Uh, I don't think it's going to be more easier or something. But we just learn to adapt okay, okay. to the situation, maybe. Grow with it. We should just know that, okay, this is how life is. So we just have to know how to manage them how to go about them so that it will not be overwhelmed by it. And in addition to what Elizabeth said, I'm going to say that um, there is no standardized way of living life, to be honest. There is no standardized way. So you just have to go through, just like process, again, you just have to go through the process. Because if you have this, um, how should I put it, this specific, um, rigid um, if yeah. you have this rigid plan, you know, for your life, if something just helps you, you know, just comes 
in through that plant and destroys destroys those plants. It's going to shift. Like we should be flexible with our plants. Like th- right? Thank you. We should be flexible with our plants. So there's not like, oh, this is the rule of living in your 20s. So with yeah. pray and hope, it gets better. But then it's going to be different for everyone. For each one of us, it's going to be different. So we just have to live through it and hold on to the best. I, I don't think it gets easier, you understand? But I just feel like people grow. You get you, uh, you grow thank you. and you just and you just understand that okay, it's better yes. for you to see it coming and know how to handle it and to just be shocking you every moment of your life. So when you grow, you know, okay, this age is going to come again and I'll know how to handle it better. So what advice do you um what advice will you give to people in their late teens or people in their twenties already so that they'll be prepared? Because like us, we were not prepared, the thing just came and just shocked us. So what advice will you give them? So that they will know better and prepare themselves. Like, okay, this is this is not an easy <laughs> easy journey. Okay, so for me, the very first advice and I'm going to give is that get closer to God, get yes. closer to Him, commit your plans to Him, like let Him know that you are in relationship in a relationship with Him because you want Him to be the director of your life, like for Him to lead you. And another one, take it slowly, like. Life is not going anywhere. Don't I rush, swear. please. Like this yeah. life is still going to stay fair. When you when you do everything quick, 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 fast, fast, fast. You know, m- money in terms of money, relationship, everything. At the end of the day, it's you that will still feel the effect of all those things. So just take it slowly and work by you know by God's time. I mean, have your own plans too. Don't get me wrong. Have your plans too. But then, as you're making your plans, just commit them into God's hands. And I'm also going to say, I think this is going to be the last one. Make good friends, sensible friends, good associations that will help you. Because in our 20s, we make a lot of mistakes regarding friends, regarding friendships, you know, relationships. So I'm just going to say, make good friends, friends who will push you to be a better you and not just destroy yeah. you. So that's my own. I agree. So, in I agree. Agree. so I, I'm in support of that. And also, I'll just say that they should be. They should not be overwhelmed with the whole process. Yeah. Just take it easy. Calm You're down. You're not alone. You are not alone. Be coming down, you know. <laughs> <laughs> because you cannot get everything together at once. Yeah. So you just have to be taking it easy. Like the stage, the step. Anything that comes your way, just know that God is with you. That you will see, you will get to the end of this thing. Okay, you should not be. Yeah, I think I agree with both of you. Um, just take it slow. You're not the only one that is going through everything you face. Yeah. You understand? Everybody is going mm-hmm. through, through it. Everybody yes. has. Some people have gone through it. They're not dying. <laughs> you understand? People are going they through survived. it. And, yeah. Just take things. Just take each day as it comes. Don't try to like rush things. Yeah. So if you want to describe your twenties with an hashtag, so what hashtag will you give your twenties? <laughs> hmm. Um, <laughs> hashtag growth. That'll be my own. Growth. Yeah. yeah. You know, I wanted to say we move, but then I'm like, everybody is using we move. So let's just do hashtag growth. <laughs> growth. Yeah. Yeah. I, I support that too. Yeah. So. Actually, I think that this is just the time for us to just grow and grow. just explore. So yeah. growth is yeah. like it's like the it's like the correct one to say. <laughs> yeah. Thank, thank you, you so you. much for coming. I really thank appreciate you. it. Thank you, love this. Of thank course. You. Thank you for yeah. having me. Nice uh, to meet you once you again, Elizabeth. Us. You're amazing. Nice to meet you too. And you, you too. Thank you. And to Pamela, thank you. Bye. 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 <laughs>